Ever wondered about the implications of embarking on a 10-day journey with creatine? The question intrigues both, the die-hard fitness buffs and the occasional gym enthusiasts. Today, we're going to explore in detail the outcomes of incorporating creatine into your routine for a fleeting span of 10 days. Firstly, let's delve into the rise in muscle phosphocreatine levels. Creatine, as we know, plays a substantial role in synthesizing phosphocreatine, a molecule that acts as a stored energy powerhouse within our muscles. Within the brief period of 10 days on creatine, you'll witness a remarkable surge in your muscle phosphocreatine levels. This increase is quite significant, resulting in up to a 20% rise, which prepares your muscles for the demands of high-intensity workouts. Speaking of workouts, the enhancement in muscle performance during strenuous high-intensity bouts of exercise can't be understated. This means you're likely to notice a boost in your strength, power, and endurance during workouts. Lastly, it's also important to note the potential water retention and weight gain that can come with creatine supplementation. Creatine tends to draw water into your muscles, which might lead to a slight increase in body weight. Moving on to the next benefit, enhanced strength and power output. Creatine supplementation is akin to high-octane fuel for your muscles, functioning as an energy-boosting powerhouse. This energy boost doesn't just stop at giving you the stamina you need, it also allows you to push past your usual limits. It lets you work harder, increase your reps, and even lift heavier weights than you normally could. And with more intense workouts comes improved overall performance. You'll notice a significant progression in your training intensity and volume, leading to faster strength and muscle gains. While creatine does lead to water retention in muscles, it is crucial to understand that this is not synonymous with the conventional bloating that you could be associating it with. Contrary to a general misconception, creatine does not cause uncomfortable bloating or swelling in the stomach or other areas of the body. How does creatine function then? Quite fascinatingly, creatine works by pulling water into your muscle cells. This process is a bit complex. Creatine molecules attract water molecules, drawing them directly into the muscle cells. This shift of water boosts the volume of the muscles and aids them in appearing fuller. But the role of creatine goes beyond just the aesthetics. The water retention in the muscles kickstarts an essential biological process known as protein synthesis. As the muscle cells become saturated with water, it triggers increased protein production, a crucial factor for muscle repair and growth. This chain reaction, initiated by creatine, ultimately leads to significant muscle growth, thus explaining the popularity of creatine among fitness enthusiasts and athletes. In the realm of high-intensity training, the demand for a rapid energy source becomes extremely vital. This is due to the exhaustive nature of such workouts that quickly sap the energy reserves in your body. Without an immediate source of replenishment, your performance may decline and you may struggle to complete your workout regimen. Creatine functions as a battery booster. It replenishes the high-energy molecule ATP, fueling your muscles during intense activities and thus, allowing you to maintain a higher level of performance and pump out those extra reps. This advantage that creatine provides can make a significant difference in your workout performance. But the benefits of creatine supplementation do not just end with immediate energy provision. It also plays a pivotal role in enhancing endurance during high-intensity training. Creatine boosts the volume of water in your muscle cells, leading to increased protein synthesis. This physiological effect not only assists in muscle growth but also aids in muscle recovery, ensuring that you have the stamina to endure longer, high-intensity training sessions. Diving deeper, we'll discuss the fascinating effects of muscle fullness and size. One of the key mechanisms that come into play is the water retention effect caused by creatine supplementation. When you consume creatine, it drives water into your muscle cells, which results in a phenomenon we call cell volumization. This process plumps up the muscles, making them appear larger and more toned, almost as if they're filled from within. But what does this really mean for your physique? Well, the enhanced size and definition provide an aesthetic benefit that is highly sought after in the fitness world. Fitness enthusiasts, bodybuilders, and athletes alike all appreciate this effect. It gives them that pumped look, making their workouts more visually rewarding and motivating. Therefore, the water retention effect of creatine is not just a physiological occurrence, but also an admired feature in the realm of fitness and bodybuilding. Creatine plays a vital role in enhancing exercise recovery, one of its key benefits. This supplement works at the molecular level, replenishing your body's ATP or adenosine triphosphate levels. 
ATP is the body's primary energy currency, a molecule that stores and releases energy as needed by the cells. This ATP replenishment process fosters quicker recovery. With ample ATP levels, your muscles repair and rebuild faster after enduring the rigors of an intense workout. This is because ATP provides the energy required for various biological processes, including muscle contraction and protein synthesis, which are critical for muscle recovery. Thanks to this accelerated recovery, you can bounce back faster from intense workout sessions. In essence, your muscles' downtime is reduced, enabling you to return to your training regimen quicker than before. Anaerobic capacity, an often overlooked but crucial aspect of fitness, refers to your body's ability to carry out high-intensity, short-duration exercises. This is especially crucial in activities such as sprinting or weightlifting, where the body operates without sufficient oxygen supply for a brief. By increasing your body's phosphocreatine stores, creatine actually enhances this anaerobic capacity. This enhancement allows you to perform better in high-intensity workouts, as you are able to exert more force and power, and for a longer duration. It's like giving your muscles an extra boost of energy during those critical moments of your workout, thereby pushing your limits and improving your overall performance. The significance of potential cognitive benefits is worth noting. However, it's essential to underscore that there's still an open field for more comprehensive scientific research to fully understand these benefits. Various investigations are ongoing, aiming to unearth deeper knowledge, and these studies require a vast amount of resources and time to ensure their accuracy and validity. Nonetheless, an intriguing body of preliminary research indicates the potential of creatine in supporting brain health. Some of these studies suggest that its consumption could have an impact on various cognitive functions. For instance, it might play a role in bolstering the health of neurons, which could ultimately contribute to overall brain functionality. There are fascinating hypotheses that creatine may potentially enhance memory and intelligence. Some scholars argue that it could improve short-term memory and reasoning skills. This is thought to be possible as creatine might assist in the increase of energy availability in the brain, translating into enhanced mental performance. The idea that creatine supplementation could boost brain power is compelling and worthy of further exploration. However, it's paramount to underscore that the individual responses to creatine are not monolithic, but rather diverse. Not everyone will experience these effects with the same intensity or even in the same way. The disparity in responses revolves around the unique physiological makeup of each person, with several factors playing significant roles. These factors include your existing muscle creatine levels, which need to be taken into account because they can determine how much additional creatine your body can store. Your diet also plays a crucial part, as the nutrients you consume can affect how your body processes creatine. Your exercise routine is important too, as the intensity and type of workouts you undertake can dictate how much creatine your muscles use. Lastly, your body mass should not be overlooked, as the larger the muscle mass, the more creatine you are likely to need. Finally, there's the potential enhancement in high-intensity performance. Creatine primarily works by increasing your body's stores of phosphocreatine, which is used to produce more of the high-energy molecule ATP, known as the body's energy currency. This additional ATP can fuel your muscles during high-intensity, short-duration exercises, thus boosting your energy and power output. Furthermore, the increase in ATP availability, triggered by creatine supplementation, also allows for longer, more intense workouts. This is because ATP is rapidly consumed during high-intensity exercises, and the faster it can be replenished, the better your performance. Moreover, creatine can indirectly improve high-intensity performance by increasing the water content within your muscle cells. This cell volumization can stimulate cell growth and lead to increased muscle mass over time. The more muscle mass you have, the greater your power output and performance during high-intensity exercises. In essence, creatine boosts energy and power by providing more fuel to your muscles and promoting muscle growth, both of which significantly contribute to enhanced performance in high-intensity workouts. To wrap it up, consuming creatine for a span of 10 days has several notable benefits. Firstly, it can significantly increase the phosphocreatine levels in your muscles, which aids in the rapid production of ATP, the body's primary source of energy. This, in turn, can result in improved strength and power output, boosting your performance across various high-intensity workouts. The consumption of creatine also leads to water retention within the muscle cells, 
which in turn contributes to muscle fullness, size, and a desirable pumped-up look. It helps in providing a rapid energy supply, making it an excellent supplement for those engaged in intense physical activities. Additionally, creatine is known to enhance exercise recovery by reducing muscle damage and inflammation post-workout. Moreover, creatine has the potential to increase anaerobic capacity, the ability to perform short, intense bursts of exercise, making it particularly beneficial for sprinters, weightlifters, and others engaged in similar activities. Besides its physical benefits, there may also be cognitive benefits to taking creatine, such as improved memory and mental performance, although more research is needed in this area. It's also important to note that responses to creatine can vary from person to person. Some may experience more profound effects, while others may notice significant changes. Lastly, creatine may potentially enhance high-intensity performance, enabling athletes to push harder, faster, and longer.